everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to today's presentation. Really, really excited about this one, guys. Okay, here's, here's how I'm going to do this. I'm going to rip through this stuff because there's a lot of content that I wanted to deliver to you in a short period of time. There's a 20-minute replay that I'm going to play in the middle of this thing that is 20 of the best minutes of our hour-long stage talk. What's up, Don? And basically, I, I think that that is the, the, the information that will help you the most to replicate this because it's it, it hits all the major points, right? So the hour-long one actually has a little bit more of our secret sauce in it, so I don't want to give that one away for free. But this 20-minute version gives you guys, it, like for some of you, you're going to be able to take take it and run with it and make a lot of money with it, right? So if you're already, you know, well, well established in your niche, you've already chosen a niche, you've got, you know, you've got some clients under your belt, you're going to be able to take some of this and go with it. So there's about a 20 minute clip that I'm going to share in the middle of this. What I'm going to do before right now is just explain why this was such a game changer for our business, what the strategy was to to get there, what kind of outcome we got for our agency, and then how you can do this on a, like, you can use the same strategy for a very small thing, like a, like a BNI kind of meeting, or like a, you know, like, like if you've got like a chamber of commerce in in your town or whatnot. It, you know, live events are really overlooked. Training with you on two monitors now, sweet. Yeah, let me know what else you're looking at, man. So, so yeah, we're just we're here in Florida on vacation, and it's a rainy day. Unfortunately, it's been pouring rain and foggy, so no sunshine. My kids are freaking out. But I want to just drop this in for you guys because for two reasons. Number one, I think it can really, really help you guys understand how powerful it is to close people live and in person and what those elements look like to do it successfully. And I can tell you guys, I made a thousand mistakes and this still worked really, really, really well. So I'll share with you what those elements are. But in addition to that, guys, I'm really excited to announce that at Agency Alchemy Live, our implementation workshop at the end of January, it's January 23rd through 25th. I'm going to be doing a, a complete presentation on this, and I'm not kidding, guys. I've had offers for people to pay $25,000 to learn this from me. I just haven't had the time to put the program together yet. So I am putting that program together, and this is one of the many things that you're going to get at this workshop is this, you know, six figure strategy to close people in bulk. So I will end up selling it for 25 grand. So I'm going to give you guys the, like the free short version here. If you decide that you want to go to agency alchemy live, I'm going to do a full blown training on that. And that I will be charging $25,000 just for that one training after the event, but that's going to be included in your seat fee there. So, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to jump in now. I'm going to dive in and, and give you, the context around all of everything that happened at this event, what was what worked, what didn't, what you can easily take away, and what things that you should put your energy and time into. Then I'm going to play the 20 minute clip of Ryan and I on stage. Ryan's my business, business partner. <clears throat> and then at the end, when the video is over, I'll do some live Q and A with you guys. Sound good? Let me know if you guys have any questions. So I, basically, I'm just going to do the, all the questions at the end, if that's all right. So here we go. So guys, this is exactly what we did, it, this is the, the exact chronological timeline to, to get to arrive at the event that you're about to see, right? So so basically what happened was we, the event that I'm about to show you, we were at the Nine Round franchise, right? Nine Round is a big kickboxing franchise. They're like one of the fastest growing in the planet, on the planet. And we had, we had helped a couple of their locations and somehow the CEO found out about it. The very first guy that signed up for us got incredible results. And a lot of these franchisees, they talk to each other a lot. So like they have these private forums. And, and so they, they started chatting about it. And they're like, hey, do these guys do good work? Do they get results? And we were not privy to that. It just happened. So we started getting like two, three, four, five of these guys under our belt. And I didn't know this at the time. But the, like what would have been really smart of us, I didn't know how to do the strategy at the time. That's why I'm sharing it with you now. As soon as I got my first nine round franchisee results, I should have taken that case study, right? And got in front of the CEO, basically, right? And I'll explain to you guys how to do that if you have questions at the end, but it's not hard to find people's email addresses nowadays. It's not hard to find the corporate office and the name of the CEO these days. You can send them a letter, you know? But, you know, I, I did not know that at the time. I wasn't even thinking about it. We were super busy. And so he just heard through some of his franchisees like, hey, you should look at these guys because they're doing great things. And one of our franchisees got these awesome results, right? So, so that kind of happened on its own. I didn't, 
I didn't push that, but you certainly can and you certainly should. If you're working with someone who's got multiple locations or a franchise, man, it's a powerful strategy because you know all these things are cookie cuttered out. So you could easily help the same one with the same campaign, right? And and for the most part, guys, the bigger the organization, the more behind the times they are. So they need your help, right? You guys are are better than they are at this kind of stuff, most likely. So that's what happened. So we. So the the CEO actually came through our funnel, saw an ad, clicked on it, filled out an application to talk with us, booked a call. We got on the phone with him. He says, hey, you know, what are you guys all about? So we tested two more of his stores, right? He said, hey, I'll, I'll pay you to do these two locations and I'm going to watch what you guys are doing and, you know, see if it works out. So he, with those two locations, he got a very, very good sense of what we're doing, why it works. You know, he felt very comfortable after that, you know, recommending us to the rest of his franchisees. So he said, well, hey, why don't you come out here, fly out to our home office. We'll do a deep dive on your guys, you know, training and system, and I'll pay you guys to come out here. And so we worked something out there that worked, and we actually charged him a lot. We charged him $25,000 for the week. So that was a great, a nice little consulting income, right? Because he's he's learning our secret sauce as he's going. But then by the end of that week, he also said, well, look, you know, I, I want for you guys to help all the franchisees, all the individual ones. Like we just don't have the capacity to do that. So what if you guys come to the convention, you can have a booth and we'll give you an hour on stage to promote it. Right. And, and, and that's when the light bulb came on for me because I said, Oh my gosh, we can be in front of like a thousand location owners and their spouses and their managers and their trainers and like all that stuff. And so, so again, guys, this sort of happened organically and it sort of happened with us just like doing it for the first time going like, Hey, well, like, why don't we just come to the convention and see who wants to sign up, you know? So, so let me fast forward to the actual convention. It was about four months past. Right. And th there was, there was a few elements that, so if you guys are taking notes on this, get, get like, this is, these are the nuggets and the bombs, right? So thing one, if you get a booth you want to know where that booth is located. It's very, very important to understand the, the foot traffic of the convention and where people would be coming in and out of, right? So I, I had told them, I said, look, I don't want a booth in the corner. I don't want a booth, you know, if you guys have ever been to a convention, there's always those like corporate booths that suck and they're giving away like a little fuzzy rabbit keychain, you know, and there's like nothing interesting happening at all. There's some like really, really awful employees sitting there like, oh, I got to put my time in doing this. You know, I mean, it sucks, guys. So I was like, look, if we're going to go there and do this, I want to be like front and center or as much as possible. I want it to be fun, loud. I want it to be attention grabbing. Like I kind of want it to be a little obnoxious. Like the, the last thing I want to do is have people walk by me like that's boring, right? So find out where, like location is key. It's a little bit like real estate, right? So if you get a good spot at a convention and people are walking by you and it's interesting, you're, you're in a good, good, good spot, right? So I made sure that I, that I knew that like where we were going to be on the map and I understood what was going to happen in the events loosely. And so we chose our, our location where, where our booth was at very, very well. Okay. So that's key one, choose your booth location. Well, Key two is, is what is in the booth or on the booth, right? So guys, this does not take a whole lot of money or know-how to do well. So I'm going to give you the keys, right? So, so key two is make your booth interesting or make it, the death is to make it boring, right? Like it just cannot be boring. I don't care what you do to it, you know, but the key is to make it so interesting that people kind of like walk by and they're like, mm, I wasn't interested before, but I kind of heard a few things and like, yeah, I'll just stop by. They're looking for an excuse to stop by, right? So give them one. I'll give you guys a quick list of things. This isn't a complete list by any means, but here's a few things that we did. Thing one was we got some banners. They're called step and repeat banners. If you Google those online, you can look them up and I'll, I'll give you guys my vendor, right? This, if you go to sock, S A L K marketing.com, He's the guy that made all this stuff for us with our logo on it, right? So you'll see it in the video that I'm about to play. You'll see like all our branded stuff. It says Fit Club Accelerator. It's like super obnoxious. But if you look at all the other booths, they, all they give you is like a black curtain behind you with a table and two chairs. That's what they give you when you show up. So we brought all this stuff, had it shipped there. 
to make it look like ours. We just like popped it all up and it's like, boom, like it, by far we had the most exciting booth in the place, right? So the banner was like a hundred bucks or 200 bucks, but people walk by, they're like, I know where they are right there. Their name is right there. It's giant, right? So make it interesting, brand it with your thing for a hundred, 200 bucks. It's super worth it, right? So another thing you can, you can add to make it interesting is give away tchotchkes. And I'm not talking about the fuzzy bunny thing or bottle opener keychains, although we had some of those, but we decided to make things either useful or super fun, right? So we had this giant wheel created that they can spin. So anyone who signed up with us then and there on the spot got to spin the wheel and get a tchotchke, but it was like a nice one. We had these, again, sockmarketing.com, S-A-L-K, made these cool like tumblers for us, like coffee or water tumblers with our little logo on it. And I, I mean, they appear to be like 20, 25 bucks, but they, I think they cost three or four bucks a piece to make. So that was one of the things we had. We had these giant red fists that you could stick a drink in. You know, we're in Vegas, the convention. So people walking around with drinks everywhere. It was like a big Hulk fist, just massive, you know, just foam. But people love that because it was fun. We gave away pop sockets, the little thing you put on the back of your phone so you can hold it. It's like a little stick them on the back of your phone. You can open it and close it. Those are like pennies. And we just put our logo on the back. People love them. They use them all the time. We got some shakers made up because like in fitness, people are always drinking protein shakes and whatnot. What else did we have? It, anyways, you guys get the point. But the point was it, it was either fun or useful. Like if it's useful, they'll take it home with them and use it. If it's fun, they'll have fun with it at least. And you know, it's, it's a good conversation piece for people to talk about your brand while they're at the event. So those are the things we did in the booth. We also, these are the last two things because I can't list them all, but we also had two couches because think about it, when you're at a convention or a live event, you want to sit down. So if that's not provided near you, have a place to sit down so you can just sit down and chat with people because it's more comfortable, right? It helps you with the sales process. And lastly, this was so smart, guys. A friend of mine recommended that I do this. I got an open bar in the booth right after our stage talk and that was like, by far, there was like a line waiting to get a free drink in our booth, right? I mean, you guys will see the, the time lapse here in a minute. Even if you don't drink, other people love to be social. Like, if they're going to come and, like, collaborate at your booth, the bar will get them there, right? That's the hardest part about having a live event is getting people to show up to the event, right? So if you've got a booth at an event and the people are already there, do something to kind of bribe them just to come by. It doesn't have to be alcohol. I'll tell you guys what, that was the best return on investment thing that we had. Oh, and then lastly, I'll just throw this one in as a bonus. Anyone who signed up got to do two things. They got to spin the wheel to win a prize, and then they got to go in the cash machine. It was like a booth where, with just a bunch of ones flying around, and they get like 20 seconds in there to catch all the cash they can and stuff it in their shirt or whatever. And we probably spent a couple thousand dollars on that. You don't have to do that. Again, I'm just giving you ideas of what you can do. I didn't even want to do that one because it was pretty expensive, but guys, it worked like crazy. Like... People were literally paying us $5,000 for three months worth of service almost just because they want to do those two things. They want to spin the wheel. And I mean, it's not just that, but you know, they will justify it their own way. So they're like, oh, it seems kind of fun. I'll have fun. They signed up and I want to have fun and get results too. Like, all right, I'm in. Right. So, so those were all of the elements at the booth. Now, so that's, that's kind of one self-contained thing. That's one piece of the equation here, right? What's the other piece? The other piece is the stage talk. Yo, what's up? The stage talk is the thing that the video that I'm about to play is gonna give you the most, the most insight to. So how should you structure that? What should you say? What shouldn't you say? Like all that good stuff. I'm gonna give you 20 minutes of, of some of the best content that we have in there, right? I'll tell you guys this, I'm not a good public speaker. I'm kinda nasally, my voice doesn't carry really tall and skinny and kind of awkward looking and like, I don't, you know, I just don't do this for a living. This is the first time I was ever on a stage like that. It went fine, guys. You just be yourself. You get up there after you get over the jitters. It's fine. Just deliver them good content. It's just like a webinar. Any good webinar you see, like that was super helpful. I didn't buy anything, you know, that's, that's all it takes guys is just to be helpful. Show them how you can help them, right? Show them what makes you different and show a bunch of case studies. If you got them, and that was pretty much the formula. I just gave it to you right there. Show results, show them how you do it, show them why you're different. That's kind of it, right? So, so guys, like that's pretty much it, right? Those two elements combined together were 
were the secret sauce. So, what, you know, what was the result of all that? Well, we had, we talked on, we, we got on stage on day two out of three. And on day two, we went about one o'clock after the, in, in the afternoon. And there was a break, right? There was another speaker after us and then a break. So at about one o'clock, we went until about two o'clock. And then from two to three, we're at our booth and a bunch of people came by already. They just left, got up and left and came. But then the, during the break, our booth got slammed. You'll see that in the, in the time lapse. So what we did was, was we decided to have one package. It was a three-month service agreement for 5000 bucks, And we signed 63 people in three days total there. So it really, it was like a day and a half because no one really bought until the second day. And when on the second day, almost everybody bought. And then on the third day, there was like some other people coming in. So we sold 63 service packages at $5,000 each for three months of service. It was nuts, guys. Nuts. I mean, if you were to ask me if, if I could do that, even a year ago, I'd be like, dude, I don't know how, I don't think we could do that. I, don't, I didn't know we, we could, right? So that's how we were able to have such a huge spring this year. We had a like a $400,000 a month that month. It was nuts, guys. So, so I just want to show this formula to you guys, right? Because if even if you go to like a BNI or like a, you know, somewhere where you can get a presentation going, if there's a small like a small room and you've got their attention, you can mirror a lot of this, right? You can mirror a lot of it. It doesn't have to be a big crowd. You don't have to, you know, spend months doing this. You could go to the chamber and show them your presentation. Be like, look, you know, this is who I help. I think it'd be a win for both of us if, you know, these people got this kind of help for me and I'm willing to just deliver free value to your audience, free of charge, just to either practice or to get the opportunity to invite them to come onto your services. It's that simple, guys. A lot of these types of places are hungry for good people because the guy that went after me was off. I, you know, I, he was a nice guy. I don't want to take anything away from him, but he was not. He was boring, guys. I, you know, and that's that's the cardinal sin. And he works for a corporate company, and like, I'm sure he's he does fine, you know, but or he did fine there. But like when we were breaking our booth down, guys, they were all like dude, you guys did it right. Like, holy cow. I mean, I wish we could have some of this stuff around, you know, we were, we learned a lot from looking at your guys' booth. So, so if you can not be boring, get in front of an ideal audience and deliver good value, I guarantee you can sign multiple clients at a time. It's just not that hard in person. It's not guys. So, so with that I'll take a quick look at the, at the questions. We are recording this. Yo, 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 do you need to get a license to pour? Oh, no. Okay, good question. So when when you get a hosted bar, the venue, if it's at a convention, right, or a hotel or something, the venue will almost always make you, they'll make it too expensive to do anything else usually, but they, they usually have a bar service. So they'll say like for two hours, it's like 600 bucks to have an open bar or whatnot. And their their team will like bring it to you on little trolleys and stuff. So you just pay them to do it and they'll bring it to your booth. If it's at a convention center or a hotel, that's almost every, I guarantee you they have that as a service. So no, we didn't go like, oh, we want to bring our own bar and we need a license, all that stuff. That's too much work and too costly. So it was catered. Alrighty guys. So I'm going to play this, <clears throat> the presentation. This is like, guys, take notes. I'll leave this up for replay, but I'm not going to leave it in the group forever. It's just too valuable, right? So take notes, and if you're watching the replay, don't expect us to be here like for months, right? Like I'm gonna reward you guys for on on New Year's Eve being like I don't want to use the word hustler, but like you know for for getting after and getting an early start of next year. And I want to self like selfishly promote our event at the end of this. So that's why I'm doing this for you guys, just a heads up. But this is gonna be some of the best content you've ever seen. I promise. I'm gonna hit the start on the on the video now. So about 20 minutes, and then at the end of that, it'll stop, and I'll go back to doing this, and we'll do some Q and A. Cool. Oh, David says we are doing a trade show in Vegas, 28th, 29th. We choose the booth location because it was right next to someone we know is lively and fun. Brilliant. And that took like no extra effort at all, probably, right? Just thinking it out a little bit farther. Because I guarantee you that the corporate companies are like, we'll take the cheap one in the corner. It doesn't matter, you know? But for you guys, that might be a big deal, right? So good on you, David. Smart. All right, guys. So I'm going to play this video. I'll see you in about 20 minutes. And then we'll wrap this up with a little Q&A. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Rob and Ryan. 
the name of our company is Fit Club Accelerator, and all we do, guys, this is the entire business, is we help gym owners just like you get more memberships. <clears throat> That's it. We don't work with any other industries. We don't do marketing. We're not a marketing agency. That's all we do. If it doesn't help you get more memberships, we don't even talk about it. It's in the trash. Does that make sense? Everybody with me so far? Cool. We built a system that works like crazy. It, we call it membership growth on demand because when you plug our system in to your facility, basically you can get memberships on demand with it, okay? So listen guys, this is really simple. The people coming to our program regularly double their membership growth and that's pretty conservative. Most people are doing much more than that. So 3X, 5X is not uncommon. Sometimes people are doing, you know, so-so and they come in and they like 10X their growth. That's, that's happened before. But a realistic expectation for you is to come in and double your membership growth, okay? And guys, our entire program is like so clean, so super clean. If you hate selling or you hate slimy selling tactics, our program is fantastic because all we do is help people. That's it. The, the entire program that we have around our system is basically just to help people get fit. Did you guys know that last year we talked to over 800 gym, mem gym owners, excuse me, gym owners, not gym members. And we spoke with them on the phone, spent on average, it's about an hour conversation that we've had with each one of them, sometimes a little less, maybe like 45 minutes. <clears throat> and we, on our questionnaire, to, before we get on the phone with them, there's a, uh, a question that we asked says, why should we choose you to, you know, to work with you in your local area? It's just a broad open and a question, right? And almost every single time we got an answer from any gym owner, it was because we want to help more people. That was not prompted in any way, right? We did not lead them to say anything like that. We weren't asking them to say anything like that. That's just what people wrote. They, they just want to help people. You guys, is that the same for you as nine round owners? You just want to help people get fit, improve their lives? Yeah, clap it up for that. Makes sense, right? Like, yeah, we're in this to make money. We're business owners, right? But if you can help people and have this sort of, we, Ryan calls it the ripple effect, have this ripple effect in other people's lives, man, winning, right? So what makes this program different? We get asked that all the time. We're at the booth. What makes you different? Great question. Guys, we don't do anything but this. It's real simple. We've worked with a ton of franchises. I won't bore you with who. They're all on the screen. There's a ton more. In fact, slide needs to be updated for show. There's like a bunch. But we've worked with a lot of franchises. The reason why we love Nine Runners, guys, is because you're an upbeat, positive group. And you guys don't complain. You know? Like, you guys just get it done. So, we love working with Nine Rounders. In April, we got 47 Nine Rounders in our program. And I think there's about 60 in to date now. And not including however many you guys signed up here. I have no idea how many. How many of us in the room feel like our product or service is just top notch? Someone comes to the gym, they're like, they're not leaving unless they are blown away that my Nine Round experience is just like the bee's knees. Is that pretty much everyone? If you didn't raise your hand, what is wrong with you? Raise your hand, y'all. Who didn't raise your hand? <laughs> Come on. The issue is not the product. You guys have a fantastic product. Can you guys count on the number of times someone has said that it was not amazing? Is there anyone here who's kind of on more than one hand where someone walked out and was like, you know, that was just total crap? Anybody? There's not a single hand up. I mean, please let me know if that's the case. Don't be shy. I'm asking, honestly. I haven't seen or heard of a single person who's walked out of the gym go like, that's it, I'm never coming back here. This place sucks. You know? Guys, it is not the product. The myth, and this is what I figured out after my dad passed away, you know, I was a young man, I was 25 years old. I became obsessed for like two years. I'm like, why can he not make that business work? Guys, this is the myth when you start a business. And I made the same mistake when I started my first business. The myth is, you say to yourself, if more people only knew that we were here, everything would be great. You guys ever said that to yourselves? If more people only knew we were here, we just gotta get the word out. Anybody here said that to themselves? Yeah, maybe you're still saying it now? I don't know. I don't know where you're at. Guys, it is a total farce. That is not true, especially in today's day and age. 
especially in fitness. You're in one of the most competitive industries on the planet. But over 13 or so years, we figured out what works. More importantly, we know what does not work. I've tried everything, you guys, for every type of client you can part probably think of. It's probably a few weird ones, but when I have my agency, we, we help everybody with everything. And I hated it. <laughs> you know why? They were paying us to do things wrong because they thought they had a good idea. They wanted to do this, they wanted to do that. I'm like, okay, let's try it. Okay, let's try it. Okay, let's try it. See how it works. But guys, do we, as especially as a studio fitness business, do we have the bandwidth to try everything and figure it out over 10 years, 13 years? Did you know, did you know that, I, there's a slide up here that we're gonna get to. 16 out of 17 fitness businesses close within the first five years. And that's worse than the average business. 16 out of 17. Guys, there's something you gotta understand. The goal is not to be good at everything or try everything or test everything. The goal is to find one to three things that work really well. Wouldn't it be nice to just focus on the 20% of the efforts that get you the 80% of your results? Let me show you a couple of results before I launch into the thing. Steph got, I think that is wrong. I think she got 22 memberships, raised your prices, added 5,000 bucks in EFT. I think it was just shy of 5,000 bucks in one month. RG increased prices by 50% and increases growth rate. I think he closed 23 new members, 23 additional members in that first month, first 30 day period with us. Let me give you the three pillars of membership growth that will get you results like that. Number one is you guys cannot have days where it's dead. You cannot have days where there's no prospecting opportunities. Pillar two, you need to make offers that resonate with folks who want long-term memberships. Guys, stop putting offers in the marketplace that are short-term unless you want short-term members. And pillar three is use a question-based selling script. That's what's on that USB drive that I showed you guys at the beginning. Do you remember that? Brad's gonna do that live on stage and you're gonna get to take that one home on the USB drive if you come by our booth after. Guys, this works in every type of fitness industry. I just wanna show you this so you can go, like the what ifs are coming out in your head right now before we even get started. This works for franchises, independents, cycle bar, title boxing, F45, you guys obviously, CrossFit, Really tough to get results in CrossFit, works for that. Bar studios, anytime fitnesses. This is a screenshotter. This is what our ads look like, okay? These ads are tested to the high heavens. Hundreds of thousands of dollars in ads testing. Guys, th these ads work really well. We've tested things, a lot of different things. This one outperforms every single other ad long-term by a long shot. I'm giving it to you guys right there, so take a picture. We build social proof on our ads. You guys ever seen an ad and it's just like crickets in the comments? You're like, no, I don't know how I feel about that. We have a way, and this is just a little Facebook ads trick, so that the same ad gets all the comments on one ad. When they click on the ad, they go to a landing page. The landing page does nothing but reiterate the awesome offer that attracts, guess what? People are looking for long-term membership. <laughs> Every single person in this room needs to use video in their advertising, when possible. Guys, you're in the most competitive space probably on the planet in, in the consumer marketplace. Use video, it'll give you a big leg up. <laughs> what are you guys doing with the phone rings? You pick it up. Hello? Hang on. I can hear you now, what's up? Yeah. Yeah, let me get back to my computer. Hang on, I can't hear you now, but keep talking. Hang on. Can you hear me now? Okay, cool. Yeah, what was that? Yeah, no, Tuesday at 3 works good. You want to come in there? Okay, cool. All right. Just ding, go, go, like, do your stuff. What was it, Wednesday at 3? No, it was Tuesday at 3. Okay. Save. Whew. Hope the phone doesn't ring again. Okay? So what do we do? That person needs to be served, right? We're here to help people, aren't we? Guys, this automation saves your life because you don't have to drop everything and attend to this person who you want to roll that red carpet out for. Is that making sense? All right. Guys, why this is important from a marketing perspective and a lead follow perspective. The consumerism that we're at right now, 80% 80, 80 of the sales happen between the fifth and 12th touch. Trust me on that, you can look it up too if you want. You have to have an intimate touch with your leads in order to get them in to begin a conversation with them. How many of you guys have a database of people who have previously been in your gym? Raise your hand. 
Guys, everybody in the room should raise your hand unless you haven't opened yet. Do it again. How many of you have a database of people just sitting there in your CRM? Guys, those people are not no's. They're just, maybe they were just not right now's. Earlier. We have a way where you can email and text those people and reactivate them and come back in and start another trial. Works really well. And it's free. There's no ad spend with that one. What's your introductory offer? You guys got to think about this. When you put an offer out in the marketplace, the sentiment will start to seed with people in your community. So if you're constantly putting short-term offers out in the community, you either train the customer to think about more short-term stuff or more discounts, right? Or they think that you don't have your S together because you're changing it every five seconds. Does that make sense? Wouldn't you? A business puts out a different offer every day, every week, every month. You're just like, holy cow, what are they doing over there? You know, may as well wait till Black Friday. They'll, I know they'll give me something good then, right? So think about what your introductory offer is. Again, I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm here telling you what has worked best historically for us and our clients. Make sense? So Lisa Atwood Dodds. This is from May 11th, which is what? Six days ago? Help me out. What, what day is today? Anyone? 17. Okay, six days ago. This is in our nine round owner Facebook group. These are only people who are on a program, a private Facebook group, right? Lisa got three out of four day one signups using the free 10 day pass offer and our system behind it. Woot woot. How many of you guys like to have three out of four sign up on day one? They come in for the free 10 day pass. How's this stuff works? Solomon, is Solomon here? There he is. What's up, man? Phil, Phil, a bald brother. How you doing, man? 37 leads in four days and 21 schedules so far. Still waiting on a few replies. And we can all do the call to Nance that, right? <laughs> guys, this stuff works. We got a ton of these in the Facebook group. Ryan's going to show you more. Who wants to know about making price disappear? Huh? How cool would that be? You guys heard Shannon talk about this earlier, right? They got to see that happen in Greenville. He was like, man, I don't know if this guy can sell. Who is this bearded dude, you know? A lot of people were like, he doesn't even know the nine round workout. Okay, I've, I've done some Muay Thai. <laughs> I don't know the nine round workout. I don't know club ready. I don't know how it works. And I showed up, put on a nine round shirt, and I didn't make sales because I'm good at sales. I made sales because I'm good at asking questions and listening to people. You gotta understand that every person that you ever talk to that comes into your facility has a reason. Maybe they don't share it with you. Maybe they don't share it with you right away. Sometimes you'll hear it later, right? Sometimes a couple months in. Man, what are you getting out of nine round? Well, I have more energy. I'm feeling stronger. I got a raise at work. I'm a better dad for my kids. They all have reasons like that. But how powerful would it be if you could hear that reason day one? Right? What happens to that price? It doesn't matter. You get to carry your kid. Oh, I'm not making enough money. Yeah, but I know that in six months I'm going to be in a better headspace and I'll get that promotion. Right? Imagine that you can help somebody achieve that state of mentality today and operate from that place for the next six months and experience what they really came there to experience. Right? You've got the membership here. You've got the goals that they will get, but what they really come there for is the feeling that the achievement of those goals will bring them and the effect that it has on their lives. I'd be willing to bet that almost all the owners in here are very good at selling memberships. But I'd also be willing to bet that every single owner in here can get better. Right? What is it worth to you to be able to change those lives a little better? What's it worth to them? Think about this, your teams. How good is your team at selling memberships? Is your team as good as you are? The skill set of becoming good at sales, that's one thing. The skill set of passing on the torch, that's another, right? So with this system, you guys are going to get some tools that will help you pass that torch on. And nine round owners all around the country right now are closing at 50 to 80% the first day when these people visit. So I don't want to get stuck on that for too long, but is it worth it to improve your sales process? Do you think it's worth it to improve that sales process? Are you guys ready to change some more lives this year? You're going to have the opportunity to get them out of where they were to where they could be. What are some of the biggest objections you guys hear to joining your fitness facilities out there? No time. What else? Yeah. Oh, I just, you know what, Ryan? I would love to join your gym. 
I just want to talk to my wife about it real quick. What else? Price. Price. Oh my gosh, it just costs too much. I might have to stop going to Starbucks. <laughs> right? Yeah, time. It costs too much. I want to talk with my spouse. There's one other. Yeah, yeah, there it is. I want to think about it. Great, Sally. Take all the time you need to think about it. Now, earlier you told me you were thinking about this for how many years? Five. Is it really in your best interest to think about this any longer? Whew. Or, Jeff, yeah, run it by your wife. By the way, what would your wife have to say about it? if you were to tell her you got a gym membership. Ooh. Ooh. How many of you think that the wife has probably been pushing him to get that membership for three years, right? <laughs> Let's be real here. Don't tell anyone, but that's how I closed Rob Bailey on that gym membership. <laughs> that's exactly what he said to me, and that's exactly what I asked him. And he said, well, you know, she really has been wanting me to get in here. And I said, well, when you're in a little bit better shape and you've been moving around a little bit more and active again like you used to be in college, what's that going to do for you in your life outside of the gym? And he told me, man, I want to be able to keep up with my kids. I got these two little guys, one more on the way. That was back then, you know, when there was still one on the way. Now he's got three. One more on the way. I want to be able to be active with these kids and have the energy to be vibrant and give them my best energy when I come home from work. You think price matters anymore? Price doesn't matter anymore. And I'm going to give everybody here the ability to do what we do every day in the Fit Club Accelerator. Because sales is where you have the opportunity to change a life. Rob Bailey joined the gym. Rob Bailey joined the gym. I hired Rob Bailey to do the lead generation that he is an expert at. He has spent at this point, millions of dollars on ad spend refining this process to a razor sharp system. There was a day where I talked to Rob, not that long ago, and I said, Nine Round, those guys are cool. I talked to some Nine Round owners. They started with the program. They're getting good results. Those guys are cool. They're passionate about changing lives. They care about people. But they've been burned. They've tried a bunch of things to get leads in that haven't worked. They've got leads in and only closed 30% of them. You know, that, those are lives that should be changed, that could be changed. You guys have some powerful assets that nobody else out there in the world has. So we said, let's do more work with Nine Round, which is why I'm so excited to be here today and empower some of the things that you guys are going to be creating this year. Look, 70 bucks a month, average member investment, a lot of Nine Round owners are there. $130 a month average member investment with a 12 month retention or better is what a lot of people experience out there in the world. And we built that into not just a razor sharp system for acquiring that kind of person, but keeping them for the long term. From this program, you can expect 30 to 300 new people in through the doors right away without any ad spend. So you think if you guys do that, you can change some more lives this year? Yeah? All right. Good, so come by the booth. I'll see you there. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Rob and Ryan. Okay guys, so what did you think? I, as you can see there, the booth got very busy. <laughs> after. So it was actually pretty interesting because Ryan was walking by me and I was like, so are we gonna like, you know, sit here and watch the next speaker. And then, and I turned around and all these people were getting up to leave the place to go back to our booth to talk to us. So really, really, really incredible experience. And what happened at the booth after that was, was super fun. We, we spent the rest of the day talking to a lot of people 
getting a lot of them signed up, but also helping the people that didn't sign up and just chatting with them and telling them how we thought they could grow their business best. And and still to this day, a lot of people on my team said that that was like one of the best experiences of their career, just because we got to be so intimate with them and end up helping so many of them. And it was fun. It was super, super fun. So if you're kind of stuck in a rut or you're like, I just like, I just do better with business if I'm having fun. I mean, it was a really, really fun experience, guys. So with that, I will take any questions that you have. Oh, yeah. Ryan is an incredible sales guy. There is no doubt about that. He's one of the best I've ever met, if not the best. I mean, he's incredible. He's almost dangerous. Like he can sell. He can sell. He he can use it for evil if he wanted to, but he doesn't. (laughs) Put it that way. (laughs) All right. So let's see, the tool I'm using here, the comments are a little funny, so I'm going to go into the group and turn the volume all the way down and see if, yep, okay, so Jeremy, yep, that was you that commented that. Yep, yep, Chris Tillette, he said, fantastic. Ling said, clap, clap, clap. Joe said, thanks, Rob, and I think I'm all cut up. So, So anyways, guys, let me know what questions you have. We can jam here for a little bit. If you want to ask us anything about it, I can... Actually, I can bring up the highlight reel, the one that I posted before. I don't know how many of you saw that one. Let me see if I've got that. So go ahead and ask your questions here. I'll play the highlight reel that we've got from that convention as well while we're doing that. It's just two or three minutes long. Here it is. How can I say our experience has been different? I'd say right off the bat, we looked at the script that was given to us, and we listened to you guys very closely on what the script was all about. And once we started doing that, people were coming in, and we would use that script, and we would close them. Just boom, 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 one after another. And I was just totally blown away by that. We haven't even launched. Okay, so that was a little bit of a highlight reel we put together from that event. Did you guys see the stuff in the booth? And did you see how all the booths around it were barely noticeable? I mean, maybe you didn't even, like, draw your eye over to them. But when I look at those those clips, you know, the other booths almost just seem to disappear, right? And that's that was a key element to this, guys. So let me just, <clears throat> excuse me. So Frank said, thank you, Rob. Amazing value. Have a blessed 2019. Hope the rain stops and the sun comes out. Thanks, brother. (laughs) I did too, for my kids' sake, mostly. They're a little little bit cagey, if you will. They want to go outside and and run around. I do too. David Hebert says, the booth is awesome. Thanks, man. So if you guys need any any custom stuff made like that, the guy that I use, his name is John Salk, S-A-L-K, is the way you spell his last name. And him and his brother run a company called Salk Marketing. And you can go to sockmarketing.com. It's S-A-L-K marketing.com. Tell him I sent you guys over there. He's a great dude. Very good work. Very reasonable prices. We spent a couple thousand dollars on the booth stuff. But guys, we made, we sold 63 clients there. So it was super worth it. Yeah, so Don Ferguson says, I like the money machine. The money machine was a hit, man. So I don't know if you missed this part. But earlier I said, I didn't even initially want to do it because it's expensive, right? But people love it. And they were, the, even better, they were like live streaming it or, or taking pictures and photos and sharing it with their friends and like all that good stuff. So it created a lot of buzz, which was the point, right? 
And so if we had to do it over again, I would absolutely make the investment to do it. It's just super fun. It's just, you know, like none, none of the other booths had anything fun like that. And some people were like, oh, so you're going to get people drunk and like bribe them with money, right? I'm like, I don't know. seems like people are having fun to me. I'm having fun. I think it's hilarious. The booth was like stitch in stitches funny to people who knew the person in the booth. I mean, I thought it was funny, but like if someone's husband or wife was there, they would get it on their phone and basically be like, Dude, I'm saving this for a long time because you look like a complete idiot in there. It was so funny. I'm not letting you live this one down, that kind of thing. Because it's funny when as soon as you hit the, the switch, people just like, they turn into a child almost. It's almost like, you know, they revert back to being <laughs> like a primal animal or something just for 20 seconds. It's priceless, guys. It's so fun and so funny. So <laughs> I'm just thinking back, uh, thinking about all the people I saw do it. And it was it was good. It was really, really fun. So I would recommend that if, if you're going to go big like we did, like I would definitely recommend that and the wheel and the bar. Those are probably the big, biggest three things. Chris said, I just finished up five year trade show business. When you can reach that many people that fast, it makes a huge difference. Looks like I'm heading out again gladly. Yeah, I think we Chris, when you and I talked on the phone, you told me about that. It's a great strategy. If you do it right, the ROI is a no brainer. You don't even have to do as well as we did to do that. We would have had an ROI if we would have signed up four clients or something like that. I mean, four. We signed up 63. So, I mean, that just. So, let's see. Ling says, I appreciate your generous sharing value bomb. You're welcome, Ling. No problem. Don says, did you rent that from the venue? No, we had to get a, so the bar we, we rented from the venue, the, everything else basically we brought in. So, um, when you, when, when you show up, they just have like a black backdrop behind you and a table and two chairs. And so everything else that you saw in the booth, we brought besides the bar came, they just wheeled it in for a few hours when we signed up for it. And then they wheeled all that stuff away for us, which was great because you don't want to mess with that stuff, right? When you're trying to sell and serve your, your clients and your prospects. The cash machine was also a third-party vendor. So like in Vegas, it, if you're in a bigger market, these, these it's like easy to find. In Vegas, there was tons of options for cash machines like that. And they just dropped it off before the event started. We signed the papers and confirming we had it delivered. They showed us how it worked. How it worked. And then the guy showed up at the end and took it away for us. It's really easy. Ling says, I enjoy selling in front of audiences. Live is the best way to convey your energy. Absolutely. I mean, I know you guys probably haven't seen, see, like met me in person, but you can tell that I'm passionate and enthusiastic about this. In person, I'm very subdued. People say that I'm like a really chill guy, right? But I was so excited at that live event. For me, that was excited, right? Like that's about as excited as I'll get. <laughs> but people people could feel that is, is my point. It's like they could tell that we were genuine. They could tell we genuinely wanted to help. They could tell that we were there to serve them. And, and that was the biggest part of that whole thing was them like without us telling them that all those things, they pick that up on their own. And that's why live events are so powerful. So I agree with you, Ling. Yeah, like for example, like Nadine, so she's on our team. She um, At that event, she's a total extrovert. Just picture a cheerleader. That's Nadine. And Nadine was like, every time someone would yell up, she'd go, hey, everybody, I need your attention. And this is like what she enjoys doing. I didn't ask her to do this. She just, she's like, you know, Adam just signed up for the Fit Club Accelerator and he's going to go in the cash machine. Yay. You know, and everybody be like, yeah. So, you know, like for high energy people, it's perfect because the reason why people go to events is to have fun. I mean, conventions, events, they do it for an experience, guys. So they don't want to go there, pay all that money to go there, waste three days or however long they're staying there and then leave going like, well, that was a dud. You know, they want to go there, have a, as good experience as possible, laugh. Get out of their comfort zone a little bit, do new things, learn new things. They want to, they want the experience of it to be positive, right? So again, that just goes back to that thing. Just definitely don't be boring. And even if you're a little annoying, that's fine, right? Like we were a little annoying. There, there were some people that were just like peeved because they're like, oh, you know. And I'm like, <laughs> all these people who are paying us money, they're having a blast, right? So, so that's really where you got to do. You can't be like riding that middle line or boring. It has to be clearly over the line and into exciting or different or fun or combination of the three. Frank says, definitely going to implement this process for selling my brand new carpet and tile cleaning continuity programs to high-end homeowners. 
Awesome, Frank. That's perfect for this. Homeowners are pretty easy to get in front of, right? Excited to try this. Is a completely off track niche. Thanks, brother. Yeah, you got it, Frank. Hope it's hope it helped, man. <laughs> Wing says I'm high energy. I have a great time, not just selling. Then you would do really, really well with this. Promise. David Heber says Frank Santagato. Santa we are in the same niche. You guys should hook up, right? That's what a community like this is for. You guys should connect for sure. Okay, guys. Any other questions? I wanted to keep this one short because I respect you guys' time. And I'm technically on vacation, so I'm going to hang out with my kids for a little bit. But I can do any last questions that you have before we wrap things up. And it's been almost an hour here, so I went longer than I planned. But that's okay with me. Any other questions? We'll just do a last call for the questions, the live questions at least. And then if there's any afterwards, I can just go ahead and answer them for you guys in the comments. Okay, guys and gals, I think that's it. What I will do is I'll look here in a couple. I'll, I'll check back here after you know I'm done playing with my kids and see if there's anything else that I can answer for you. Here's a huge announcement. If you guys love this, you're going to love Agency Alchemy Live. That's our three-day implementation workshop. I'm going to be doing a full-blown training on this from start to finish. I'm going to show you the products we ordered. I'm going to show you our booth layout, our, our complete strategy, what we did before the event, what we did during the event, what we wish we'd done at the event that we didn't do. That's a big one. What we did after the event to maximize some more sales. I'm going to do a full training on this. It'll be like an hour and a half, two hours. And that I'll later, after Agency Alchemy Live, after this workshop, I'm going to turn that into like a $25,000 product. So... Agency Alchemy Live is nowhere near that price to attend, but you're going to get that for free as a bonus for just this one event only. In addition to that, we've got two guest speakers that are incredible that you guys are going to learn a ton from. I kind of can't believe that they agreed to come to, to this, but that's just, this is the first time we've had guest speakers come to this type of event, but you're going to get a ton of value from them. These guys are both really successful agency owners and know how to scale an agency and know how to niche down and crush the market real fast. So those two guys are coming. I also just decided to do a VIP dinner with those guys. That's going to be really small. So only eight to 12 people. If you decide to come to Agency Alchemy Live, we're going to spoil you rotten during the day. All throughout the day, we're going to feed you like filet mignon for lunch. We'll feed you breakfast every day. We'll have a snack in the afternoon. We'll have a happy hour every day to just relax a little bit and decompress. And then the first night, we're going to take everybody there to dinner at my friend's Italian restaurant in Little Italy, which is amazing. We got some shots of that from the last event, and everybody had a blast. The food is just phew, so good. It's a S Sicilian restaurant. Really modern, really great great food. So everybody gets to go to that on night one, but on night two, our two VIP speakers agreed to do a VIP dinner that I'm going to host, and it, it, that is going to be incredible because you're going to be able to rub elbows with them, ask them anything you want, talk business, have some food. So, so basically, that's another thing that I just added to that event. And then lastly, I'm finalizing the details on pricing and packaging for Nurture 2.0, which is going to be our white label lead nurturing system that you're going to be able to, to, to white label for your own business. So our text messaging tool that we built for ourselves that we use internally, going to make you a ridiculous offer to get that. Almost nobody there is going to have an issue with the pricing. I mean... Nobody, no, I'll change that. Nobody will have an issue with the pricing because it's the lowest price on the market for what it is. And it's lower than everything else that's out there that does just a fraction of what, you know, our tool does. So I guarantee if you need a lead nurturing tool or you're already using a lead nurturing tool, if you're using like Scipio or whatever the heck you're using out there, this is going to win. I guarantee you that. And it's not going to cost a lot of money. It's going to be a no brainer cost wise. Very, very low price, very high value. Y'all know how I roll. So only people who go to Agency Alchemy Live will be able to be in in that white label, that initial white label program at, at the lowest price it'll ever be. So there's only 30 spots to do that. And so it, you guys, you really just don't want to miss the boat. I think there's like 14 seats left for this event or something like that. There's probably, we probably sold a few since I checked last, probably like 12 to 14, something like that. So let's see. I'm sorry. I got a couple more questions here. Let me just see if... So Ling says, sum it up in a few words. I think I just did, but if I didn't answer your question, let me know. Happy New Year, Steve. Ling says, oh, where? It's in San Diego, California, and we've got live seats and virtual seats. So if you want to come out to San Diego and do it in person, which is what I recommend, that's the live, you know, live ver version in person. It's a workshop. And if not, we've got some virtual seats available. So you would, you can do it from the comfort of your own home or office too, and we'll live stream the event and 
and we'll do all that live. You know, you can do it from anywhere, really. So we've got a limited amount of in-person and virtual seats going for this workshop. Ling says, when? Good question. So <laughs> it looks like you haven't seen any of my previous posts, which is fine. I won't take it personally. But it's, it's January 23rd through 25th. And I'll give you guys the link here in the comments. And all the details are on this page, Ling. So we'll just do that before I sign off here. Any other questions? Any other questions? Let's see. Okay, Ling, I just dropped the link in there. And if you go to that page, it's called all the event details. Worst, like, worst thing you can do is not even apply. I think you should, anybody who's got any interest, you should just apply to come to this workshop. And what'll happen is Katie, my operations gal, will reach out to you and answer any questions that you have. And she'll even get on the phone with you, answer every single question you have, see if it's the right fit for you. If it is, we're happy to have you. If not, that's cool too. I really just want you know, for you guys to feel comfortable knowing that you're going to get at least 10x ROI from it, like within days. And if you can't do that, I'm not going to try to sell it to you. Point point blank. And a lot of people get a positive return on investment from this event while they are there, sitting there, because we're going to help you do it, right? So, oh, cool. Frank and David just just hooked up. Good for you. All right, Ling. Well, I hope to see you and hope to see you at the workshop. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year to everybody. We're going to get ready to start having some fun here. So mahalo, aloha, love all you guys. Hit me in the comments if you've got any questions about anything else. I will see you soon.